<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to DreamHack TV live from DreamHack Winter 2013. I have with me, of course, the one and only TMSR Haxrin. And of course, we wanted to talk a little bit about that game. Just get his uh, opinions in. I mean, Haxrin, you're watching that game over there. Lions definitely looking like a really solid force. The Moon Queen was going on. I mean, tell me a little bit about the early game. How did that set up for Moon Queen to become such a dominant force? Well, first of all, they didn't contest the Moon Queen, and we all know what happens when you don't contest the Moon Queen. Of course. He gets a lot of farm, and then he becomes really scary. And, but not only that, Lions played it really well. Like, just keep a Moon Queen synergy so well together. The late mm -hmm. game potential of those two heroes are so insane. So you also pressure the other team to force team fights. Maybe some team fights you don't even want to have, because IG took some sloppy fights, but they are kind of forced to it anyhow. Yeah, I mean, talking about those fights that you felt like they were forced, they had the wombo combo potential between the Engineer and the yeah. Flux combination. I mean, yeah. even throwing the Wretched Hag in there, did they not really execute that perfectly? Um, I, I know Insania had the option to first pick Keeper. I don't know why he didn't, because Keeper Hag can also go late game, even against the Moon Queen. So, if, But besides that, I think their leading lineup had potential to win the game. If they just played it a little different, they could also lane different, because they... Duel in against the keeper, they did well, they killed him, mm -hmm. but still it's really inefficient to duel in a minion suicide. Rule book there, guys. Remember that. There you go. Pro tips from Hacks are in yeah. here. So, I mean, <laughs> going into the later stage of that game, I mean, there's not a whole lot to talk about. No. Moon Queen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it's, it's, well, it's, not, it's not only Moon Queen, it's just, I think Lions, is, I'm really impressed of their performance here at the LAN. Like, even against us, it was such an intense match. Like I, yeah. I even thought we, I thought we were gonna lose at one point. So, but yeah. So I'm really excited to see this because I still think IG can do it. Like they're a really good team as well. I think it can go either mm -hmm. way. Still, just depends on the draft and how they set up lanes and yeah. yeah. And I mean, you were talking about uh, while well, you were over there watching the match, you were watching from uh, IG perspective, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you were behind IG. I mean. What's the mood over there? Yesterday, it seemed like uh, there was maybe even a little bit of uh, infighting between the team. Are they on the same page right now? Are they feeling all right? Um, in, Insane is really good at cheering up the team, like yelling and making hype, because you mm -hmm. need to be hype. Because when you make a bad play and you are this land, you feel like, oh, oh my God, everyone saw that. Oh, yeah. I'm so bad. Like, everyone thinks so bad. Like, but Insane is really good at cheering up his team and keeping the morale high, and that's really important, especially when you play at an event like this. So you need to... Keep the mood up. Even though they're down one game, I think they're still in it. Even though they might be a little bit demotivated, but when they get in the game, they they forget all about it and they just play the game. Hopefully. There you go. And that's what IG needs to do. Going yeah. into this next game, you think they've got it. I think they can definitely force a game three. But anyway, Haxerin, thanks for sitting down and uh, talking to us a little bit right here. Guys, we're going to be going in into time. game two between IG and Lions. IG with their backs to the wall. One game away from elimination here at DreamHack Winter 2013. We'll be right back with that second game in this series. Don't go anywhere. Bye.